Hello and welcome back to the Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz. We're going through the book of 1 Timothy. You know, most of the pastors that I know are very well read. And that's kind of important. We're going to talk about that today. Uh, about being well read but not forgetting the main thing. And we read from 1 Timothy chapter 4, uh, verse 13. Paul is writing to Timothy and says, Till I come, give attention to reading to exhortation, to doctrine. 1 Timothy 4.13. So Timothy is holding the fort, so to speak, until Paul uh, is able to come to him. Kind of what the church and its pastors are doing now until Jesus comes. We are holding the fort, if you will. So Timothy and we are given three areas by the Holy Spirit, speaking through Paul here, in which to give our attention to. We are to give our mind to these three things. And first on the list is reading. Now the word reading here means to know again. Know again the scriptures. Read them often. God has made himself known through the scriptures. Know him again and again and again as you read the Bible. Allow God to speak to you through the scriptures and then speak back to him in prayer. Remember what, remember what the early church fathers said when they were tied down with all these responsibilities other than ministering to the word. They said in Acts 6-4, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer, conversing with God and reading his word, and to the ministry of the word. So pastors are to make sure they spend time in conversation with God and then ministering or applying the word of God. They are to exhort others from this word and make sure that the doctrines that are taught in scripture, most notably those that we've already gone over in 1 Timothy 3.16, are closely adhered to. Now, again, most pastors I know are voracious readers, and that's a good thing. I mean, it's obvious that the Apostle Paul was well-read. He knew what was out there in the world. He knew what the philosophers of the day were touting, and he was always able to affirm it or repute it in accordance with the Scriptures. And though he was well-read, it didn't change anything about his ministry. He didn't follow fads. He stuck to the basic doctrines and teachings of the church and summed up his preaching style with this one verse written in a letter to a hotbed of secular philosophy, Corinth. He said this in 1 Corinthians 2.2, 2, For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. So pastors, be well read. But never forget this advice from Paul. Preach Jesus Christ crucified. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening. May God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.